between two Yetis. Uh, and this is about Pamela. Is it? It is. I never called her Pamela. Pam. Pam. Pam Kelly. Okay. I've got to do this? Yeah. Okay. Now <laughs> take one. Take one. <laughs> clap the board. Hi. No, clap the board. Oh, clap the board. Should I say take one? Sure. <laughs> take one. Just like that, huh? Yeah. One more time for fun. <laughs> Did I do it right? Perfect. Oh, no. You... Oh, I'm going to hold it the whole time? No, no, you don't have to hold it. Sorry. Okay. Bye. Thank you, sir. That's it. <laughs> and we are back between two yetis with oh, Salvatore yes. Anastasi. You can call me Sam. I'm Deanna. Deanna. I'm Deanna, it's nice to meet you. You are Pam's brother. I am Pam's brother. Nice to meet you. You are? I am Kelly Sidero, Pam's daughter. Guy. Guy. You're Pam's son. Raised by Pam. She's our second Three mom. Three of us. She's our second mom. And, um, She's a lot of people's second daughter. Kelly. <laughs> Jody. You're Jody. Nice Your to meet you. Your name has come up so many times. Has it really? Yeah. So who are you? How do you know Pam? Well, she was a huge part of my childhood. Okay. She was like my second mom. Billy Myers. Yes, sir. The last man to employ Pamela Kelly. Yep. And you're Pam's dad. Stepdad, but yes. Uh, oh, step after, after, after 50 some years, I'm her dad. Oh, yeah. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> she, she was 11 when I met her, so I had 51 years with her. So how did you know Pam? Well, I met Pam through her father. Uh, I got to know Pam through her father. We did mutual business together. He sold uh, concrete and mortar and stucco. And I was a contractor. I'm a mason contractor. You older or younger? She, I'm younger. Okay. She's four years older than me. So you, that's why she beat you up? Yeah. Yes, that's why she used to hold me down and torture me as a child. So there's just, my mom just has me and my brother. Um, and then she has four, <laughs> Four or five adopted daughters. We both grew up together then. Oh yeah. Yep. All right. When did she get into trouble? She wouldn't tell. Me. <laughs> when did she get? In? Yeah. She was always in trouble. In the same house. Or were you sisters? No, none of us are sisters. None of us are sisters. We just got lucky enough to be introduced some way or another, whether it be through school or sports. Uh, sports, and we all kind of <clears throat> bonded with each other, and there were five of us, and we, five, five. the other one can't be with us, she's in Virginia. Okay. So, right, what was the, was Pam a bad girl when she was younger? Was she a good kid? Was she? Well, <laughs> she had her moments. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna play the fifth. <laughs> or drink a fifth. No, that no, that's what she made me do. I became an alcoholic drinking a fifth. <laughs> if I can be so blunt, Pam was a real pain in the ass to me. At times, she would bust my chop as well as my wife could bust my chop. Now I think this is going to be a recurring theme. I'm going to hear. hear well, you. yeah, I think so. But, <laughs> but on the other flip side of the coin, and there was a flip side, was this tremendous heart that Pam had. And I'm, if I get a little broken up, it's because she should show that every once in a while. Were well, your best friends? Were we best friends? No, we were more like mother and son. We all know she was very boxy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can tell you, yes. Yeah. She was, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, it was Pam's way or... Or the highway. You could do it your way. Right? But once you've done it, then... You're going to come back and say, I should have done it your yeah. way. Mm -hmm. and, it'll oh, be yes. and it'll be alright, because I've already done it my way. And so then when you come back and your way's failed, my way, there you go. I've already done exactly. It. You, that's <laughs> exactly the way she would say it. Oh, yes. I saw her several times at boat shows. And she would uh, introduce herself as my second wife, and mainly because she would give me such a hard time. I think I might have met you before. Then. Maybe at Fort Lauderdale. I do remember that. Back to Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> <laughs> of course, she was just like a second wife. There was no sex involved. <laughs> well, I guess it all began. When I was born, she thought I was her baby doll. And yeah. she would dress me up in her doll clothes. Go clothes. Yes. Right. 
My mom always made me come home an hour to an hour and a half before all of my friends growing up. Okay. All the time. That didn't really work. That didn't fly with me. So I would stay out later. So I'd always be the one in trouble. <laughs> and one, one of my fondest memories of Pam was she always loved Christmas. And um, we were so excited a few years back because Orchard Hardware Store came to town and they have the most unique Christmas things. So we would spend hours shopping in this place. <laughs> I guess she was big around holidays. Oh, huge. In fact, yeah, she's the reason we got a Christmas tree. Yeah, probably. Yes. Probably. Well, she had two or three at her house. So you just so, get shopping for Christmas Shopping things. for Christmas things, yes. Like, we didn't need another thing, trust me. We had, you know, closets <laughs> and storage, storage full of Christmas stuff. It would take her a, a month to decorate. <laughs> Even before Christmas, you know, she'd start decorating a month early. Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving was one of Mom's... From Halloween all the way through New Year's was Mom's favorite time of the year because we all got together as a family. Whether we were here or she always came to me for New Year's. Was she always, did she, was she always like this paternal, mothering, in charge? Yes. Yes. Young. Oh wait, that was unanimous. <laughs> At the same time too, when you said that. So she didn't become it, she was just, that was. <laughs> I think she was born that way, right? Yep, she, they wanted to do C-section. She said, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> she was very private about this cancer. Uh, she really was. She was. She wanted to keep it away. And um, though she did let us, she did finally reveal it to us. And we did see her. Uh, and she was such a fighter. And I remember I was president of the Masonry Association and she just got a good diagnosis that she had beat cancer right around Thanksgiving. And so we had our Christmas party over here at Gallupi's and Pam came and her hair started to grow back and she looked so wonderful. And I remember something my wife said and my wife just said, you know, she's really my hero. Look how, look how brave and how strong she is. And I think that's the, the, the thing I'm left with is, what a loss the world is. She was such a, a powerful person. Wish I'd interviewed her before she died. Because um, yeah, I did too. Man. Yeah, but I just lost when I first heard about she was ill. She was just off the scene. I yeah. I didn't see her at the boat shows she, or anything. She hit it very well. You know, I mean, even when she would she would come into work in massive pain, and I, I wouldn't know it, but this was woman. <laughs> she was sick. She knew it, and she just kept on fighting. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely going to be sorely missed. Uh, and any advice that she gave you that you would actually take on? <laughs> that you carry forward? Any advice? Your mother is always right whether you want to believe it or not. <laughs> I swear to it. I think that's probably the advice I would take from her too. Yes, <laughs> that it was is. Right. <laughs> so, she became a good old sister or is she always... She became a wonderful older sister. A little reprimanding, yep. like a mother towards me. So I had two mothers, my mother and my sister. <laughs> yeah, I've known her from years in the past and worked with her at other companies as well. So, great woman, dearly. So we can dearly say she's an absolute asset, but we can also be truthful, she was a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, she was a pain in the ass, but you know what? She needed to be a pain in the ass, especially when I wasn't being a pain in the ass. She was the one doing it. You know? she, I, 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 ge I genuinely would attribute the two years of organization yeah. to that woman. Oh, yeah, that's she good. absolutely on top of boat shows. Yeah. Um, we did mail-in rebates. We did so many things that yeah. there was no way I could have done it myself. Right, right. And yeah. she was the mother figure. She was... And I feel the same way, you know, but with my business. I mean, she was doing all those things. And without her, we never would have. We wouldn't be here right now. That's for sure. Right. I can honestly say that. Yeah. How old was Pam? 62. 62? She never looked that. I, I used to work with Pam about 10 years ago and I always thought, she, I never really knew how old she was. But well, she'd probably lied if you asked her. Still running. Yeah. I always remember she was very proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Oh yeah. I kept her happy. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. yeah. 
she was a pleasure to know. She was. Yeah. She, the thing uh, Kelly said, she, she was always right. Yeah. And she always made sure that you knew that she was right. <laughs> <laughs> so I got I, I got a dish towel at the house and it has a saying on there that says, Oh my god, my mother was right about everything. That's what the towel says. Still hang I gotta hang it up in the kitchen right now. Uh, so what was a pound dressing gown like? Was it physical? Did she beat you? Oh no, um, no, no, she no. just had to stare. Yeah. Yeah. Just stare. yeah, it was just a stare. It was, it was like she didn't have to say anything. And that was really up until the very end. Yeah, <laughs> still. Like, she still yeah. Was, made sure Literally she totally told us what how we it was doing and right. Well, yeah. You were in trouble. Can you do the Pam look? No, I can't do Nobody can do the look. <laughs> Only she can do that look. You knew when you seen it. You're like, all right, I'm in oh, trouble. Shit. <laughs> Time to go. Yes. <laughs> love them and you do the stuff for them and embrace what you have because again you never know when it's going to be gone. I'll tell you what the thing with Pam is she gave a shit. Mm -hmm. Very few people in this life actually give a shit about other people, about what they're doing and stuff. She was always, always, always chasing up, always phone calling people, yeah. making sure she could do this, do this for yes. them, do this for them. She always was. Yeah. Even in the hospital, in the beginning she was like, Call work, make sure they're good, talk to the guy. Very concerned for everyone. She was. Yeah. I mean, uh. Yeah. She was always concerned, especially about me. <laughs> and I always took it as meddling. Stop meddling in my life. <laughs> but it was only concern. Yeah. Uh, and I just want to say one thing, too, about no. Kelly. I hope my daughters are as strong when my time comes and can put up the fight that she did for her mom. And that's that's it. Thank you. She was an amazing woman. She put everybody before her, me, and she did, didn't she? She did. She yeah. She did. You don't have to hold that, by the way. She gave. I mean, I have three children, and it was. She never really said no. She did within reasons, but there were always reasons why that they wouldn't get it right then. But she, there was always, like it would come to them eventually, but it was never just given. And, but she would always give her undivided love to everybody that she knew. Love her to death. I was just telling the story about that. Thank you for that. Yeah. I hope Bob's okay. Yeah. Good. Never been interviewed before. Except by the police. <laughs> I won't ask. What are you doing? You don't want to know. <laughs> but I'm